Now we have seen how to set formatted text in the email body and we have also seen how to copy the entire range that we have in Excel to the email body. Now we have a word template file for example this one and it also has some images or formatted text. I want to pick data from this word template and paste it in the email body. And we'll also see how can we generate customized email using this template. By customize I mean that I want to make some replacements. For example I just want to have hello and the name of the person to which I am addressing that email and I, that name changes for every recipient. Okay, so all we need to do is since we are going to deal with word application first of all we need to import in reference Microsoft Word object library. Then we need to declare here dim wd as word dot application and we need to launch this application using set wd equals new word dot application. So we have launched the application but we have not talked about document. Since we are going to open a file so we need to declare here that dim doc as word dot document that would be the actual document file because we need to copy the content from there therefore it is important that you read the content from document so it is necessary to set this document object so set doc equals wd dot okay now here we need to open that file so for that we will be using the function documents dot open and in arguments I will be giving the path of the file that I want to use as template. So in our case the file is present in the same folder where I have this excel file. So I use active workbook dot path and then I concatenate it with a slash and then template dot docx for example. Okay so it will be opening that document for me and then I can copy the content of that document using doc dot content dot copy. Now that content is copied to clipboard. Now I need to paste that content in the email body. I do not have that value in any variable or anywhere in the mail item but I just have it on the clipboard. So to paste it on the clipboard what we need to do first is we need to set editor here. So set editor equals I need to use get inspector of the ol mail item. So I'll be using this function get inspector dot word editor okay now i have the inspector and word editor with me and once i have this editor with me i can paste anything to this editor using editor dot content dot paste so let us run this so you can see that we have the content copied from the template in the email body now you can see here that in this email we don't have the name of the person so I have put this hard coded text here in the template and every time I would be picking a value from excel and then I will be replacing this specific text with the actual name that I want. So you need to write the code here to find and replace after the document is open you do wd.selection.find ok so I add a with block here. So with wd.selection.find and it ends with end with. I need to give here what text I want to search. So dot text equals whatever I want to search. And I also need to give the replacement value. So for that I will be using dot replacement dot text. Now you have find and replace but you need to execute this thing. So dot execute and you want to replace all the instances. So replace equals wd replace all ok now you would run this and you would see that it would be opening the document it would be changing the name by the name that it picks from cells 2 comma 2 and then it would be copying the content and pasting in the mail body now let's say that we want to generate email for all individuals one by one and we want that the name comes for that particular user only so we can put a for loop here that for i equals 2 to 15 because the data starts from second row and it goes up to 15th row and in the replacement text I can say that ok I want to pick data from ith row and second column and let's say I also want to change this to so this I can change with ith row and comma 4 which is the fourth column where we have the email id. Now we need to take care of one thing here that when we are sending it to multiple people it would be opening the template and then it would be 
making changes, find and replace, and then it will be copying the content. Then we need to close the template and open it again for the next person so that we don't have the previous changes that we have done for that user. So I need to put doc.close and while closing, I do not want to save any changes. So save changes equals false. And then I'll be quitting the application because next time again, I, I'm launching that application. So that's all. And we can run and we can see that how it generates the customized email for all users using the template.